Hello. Today, we are going to be looking at mass in maths. And we are going to be ordering objects based on their mass, whether they are heavier or whether they are lighter. We are going to do it from the lightest to the heaviest. We are going to use these pan scales in order to weigh our objects and to see which one is heavier and which one is lighter. As you can see, these pan scales are nicely balanced at the moment, they're even. But if I put my hand on one side, the one side goes down because I have made it heavier. So this side here is heavier, and this side here is lighter at the moment. Let's lift them back up to balance, and we can start experimenting with four objects I've found around the classroom. Before we weigh them, I'm going to ask you to estimate to take a guess as to which one you think is going to be the heaviest. Do you think it's going to be the bell? Do you think it's going to be the stamp? Do you think it's going to be this whiteboard marker? Or do you think it's going to be my whistle I have found from around the classroom? Let's start by weighing the whiteboard marker. And the stamp to see which one of these two objects is heavier and which one is lighter. Which one do you think? The whiteboard marker or the stamp? The whiteboard marker is bigger, it's longer than the stamp, but that doesn't mean it's going to be heavier. Let's have a look. We put the stamp in that side, and as you see, our scales go down because they're out of balance. And we'll put our whiteboard marker in this side. It stayed out of balance. That means that this stamp is heavier than the whiteboard marker. Let's leave the whiteboard marker in there and put the stamp in again and see if it goes down. Yes, definitely the stamp is heavier than the whiteboard marker. Let's try again with a different object, this whistle. We'll put the whistle on this side and the whiteboard marker in this side. Let's take them both out, bring them back to balance. Put the whistle on that side. You think the whiteboard marker is going to weigh more? Let's have a look. The whiteboard marker doesn't weigh as much as the whistle. That means that the whistle is heavier than the whiteboard marker. Because if we take the whistle out, it goes down. Put the whiteboard marker in, put the whistle back in, and it goes down that side. That means that the whistle is heavier than the whiteboard marker. That surprises me. I really thought that the whistle was going to be lighter than the whiteboard marker. So we know so far that the whiteboard marker, out of our three objects that we've weighed so far, that the whiteboard marker is the lightest. So we'll put it here first. But how do we know? We knew this was heavier than the whiteboard marker and this was heavier than the whiteboard marker. But out of the whistle and the stamp, which one are the heaviest? Let's bring our scales back to balance. And we'll put the, which one do you think? Do you think that's going to be heavier or do you think the whistle is going to be heavier? We'll see. Put the stamp in that side, the whistle on that side stays down. That means that the stamp is heavier. So we know that the whistle is heavier than the whiteboard marker, but lighter than the stamp. So we know we can put the whistle second in our order. Now we know out of those two objects that this is the heaviest. But we've got one more object to go. That is the bell. Which one do you think is going to be heavier? The bell or the stamp? Let's have a look. We'll put the stamp on this side. And we're going to put the bell in this side. Definitely the bell is heavier than the stamp. So we know now that we can put the stamp as our third object we know it was heavier than those, and we put the bell as our last object, because that is the heaviest. 
So the whiteboard marker was the lightest. Then second lightest was the whistle. Then this was nearly the heaviest, but our bell was the heaviest of all four. So we've got one, two, three, four. I've just thought maybe we should have a look and see if maybe all three of these first three objects can be heavier than the bell, or if the bell is actually heavier than all three combined. Let's have a little experiment, shall we? I'm putting the whistle, the stamp, and the whiteboard marker on that side, and I'm going to put the bell on this side. Do you think the bell is going to be heavier than all three, or do you think those three items are going to be heavier than the bell? I haven't done this before. I'm going to say that I think the bell is going to be heavier than all three. Some of you at home may have a different idea. Let's have a look. Oh, definitely the bell is heavier than all three of our other items. So let's put them back in order. First was the whiteboard marker, then the whistle, then the stamp, then the bell was the heaviest. Now the whiteboard marker was heavy, was longer and bigger than the stamp. The stamp was still heavier. Just remember that some objects can be bigger, but still lighter. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and that you enjoy experimenting with maths at home. Have a great day.